Hey there, it's Chris from Liquidation OH. Uh, if you find this channel, either you're part of the group already and thanks for coming back, uh, you found us in our Facebook group, Liquidation OH, or you're looking how to fix the Dynamo Label Manager. And this one is the 160P, or the 160, 160P. Same thing, so it looks like this. And if you're buying from Liquidation or uh, any sort of wholesaler, a third party, or you just bought it from the store and it's not working. Uh, I'm here to show you what worked for me. Now, I put the batteries in and I tried the cartridge, turned it on, typed something in, hit print, and it said label jam. Well, I wrote to Dynamo and here's the first fix they told me to do. So, in the back is where the cartridge goes. Uh, up top, you open it from here, press down, and it opens up the back. So, what they stated was all you do is pull out straight out and it pops out right so here it is the label that you put in faces out here if you can see right there that faces out when you put it in and you can see the label here so the first fix they do is say uh, put the batteries in and pull the thread about one to two inches so I pull it out just like this right so what I do then, I pull it out, put it back in the unit, and really it goes in pretty easily. So put it in like that. There it is. All right, so you see it's threaded through a little bit. There's a little slot for the thread to fit in, and there it is, All right? So it didn't come out, so what I'm probably gonna do is thread it a little more. And see how it comes above the unit here? You can just pull, pull gently, feed it through the slot. There you go. Pops out. All right. So once you do that, I don't have batteries in it. You open the back here, batteries go in. Six triple A's. Six triple A's, put it back in, hold the power button. Uh, pops up, and you can type whatever you want. It shows up on the screen. Then... Uh, it'll ask you the, the size of the paper. I believe this is one half is one I have. It'll tell you on the back of the label right here. Uh, once you click OK, I forget either then you type. I just put like test or I just type letters. You can see I typed it here. But then I hit print again. Well, most likely you're going to have another label jam. Don't worry. The second step worked for me. And this is the last step that I have. So. After that, uh, I would have wrote back to Dymo and said, hey, your second step didn't work. What do we do next? But I didn't have to get that far. So most likely, this is probably going to be your last and final step of how to get this to work. So what you have to do, you can see in here, there is a little white button. Right? Sorry. It's hard to do that backwards. That little thing in there. Press it. Press it in and it should go down. Once you press it with the batteries in, uh, and I would turn it on just to be safe. Or actually, you don't need to turn it on, sorry. So you just press it. If I press this down, this should turn. Every time I press it, it should turn a hair. So it doesn't turn. So what do you do next? So what you do next is you take your hand on this, uh, on the spindle, you turn it uh, clockwise five times and it's really hard uh, so if you need a pair of pliers uh, gently turn it but I recommend using your finger because you don't want to damage the teeth on here so you physically turn it you're not going to break it and you hear the motor in there kind of going turn it five times when I touch this again it should turn I don't have any batteries in it but once you touch that little uh, tooth thing right here the spindle will turn so once you spin it five times this is what worked for me again put that back in once you hear it snap in thread that through turn it on type your message hit print pop out there you go that is the last step that where I got mine to work and I had two of them I had two from two different liquidation lots uh, and I got them to work so try that out. Hopefully it fixes your Dymo unit. And uh, we hope to see you as a regular subscriber on the channel. 
And uh, we'll have more tips and tricks how to help you fix your unit. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.